Ever since Fontaine was released into the game, it has brought some massive and some really good quality of life changes, which I really want to discuss now. As we've now just got the 4.3 update, which is the end of like the main Archon quest. So I think this is a perfect time to sit back and just reflect on all the changes that have been added, whether it's for the best or for the worst. Now obviously we're gonna be going on we're gonna be going from 4.0 to 4.3 you know chronological order and as always if you do enjoy this video please give me some love and support and of course have a wonderful day a wonderful time starting off with the most obvious point 4.0 brought the entire region of fontaine along with the new diving mechanic which in my opinion was executed so perfectly especially considering the fact it doesn't use your traditional stamina there's a whole new stamina that is involved and I think that was a really good change because in my opinion, if they did use the same stamina and you did drown, that would make exploring very, very uncomfortable and weird. I like the fact that you can swim infinitely in the water, but obviously you can only go fast for a specific amount of time, which is like, like it's good. It's been done very well. Of course, the underwater environments do look stunning. They look amazing. They're, they don't feel empty. They feel like full of life. The music was amazing. Like you can't go wrong with that. It, they did amazing whoever designed the sound and all that all the music that was designed it was so well done i applaud them for that 4.0 also added some quality of life improvements and gadgets and just stuff that overall helps out the flow of the game amazingly starting off with the new gadgets specifically the crystal fly trap and this is earned from like re leveling up in your reputation in fontaine which is not hard to do at all and i remember when i first got this i was confused because like okay what's this what's the point of all this and then when you realize it's 15 crystal cores a week for basically free it became a very sustainable way of keeping your crystal cores obviously if you play every day 15 cores a week isn't enough but it's definitely better than nothing 4.0 also introduced the new characters linny and lynette which obviously were huge huge differently played characters than the rest of the characters we've seen so far because obviously linny is like the first hp linny is the first of many fontaine characters which lose hp and is part of their play style and obviously the artifact set which complements that is just so good and so well made a common issue ever since the start of genshin was that if a person who was new to the game pulled a character from let's say inazuma they would have no access to farm all those materials fontaine fixed that problem by allowing pretty much any player who completed the first Archon quest in Monstan to instantly be able to teleport over to Fontaine to farm materials and do whatever they need. Now this was a huge change because before this, if you pulled a character and you were an AR, let's say you got really lucky straight away and you pulled Raiden Shogun. If you were, if you haven't unlocked Inazuma, you have no way of leveling up Raiden. Ultimately, you're locked away from using it until you reach that region, which is quite a few hours away from the start of the game. On the note of characters, we also have to talk about artifacts. The brand new two artifact sets were wonderful and they work on a lot of characters, so that don't is very very efficient to farm we also see the addition of pretty much any inazuma artifact in the strong box now this in my opinion was a huge change as it allowed for sets like emblem and shimanawa to basically be farmed way way more efficiently because that domain is already really efficient and if you get bad artifacts you can just put them back in the strong box and get better artifacts from that for me this change made me farming so much more efficient because now i know that most of the artifact sets i need for my characters i can just farm a different one and build them in the background when i'm putting away my trash artifacts in another set being no longer limited to the monster and leeway artifact sets was very very good of a change for the game itself as a whole simply for me it felt like i wasn't fucking doing the same stuff over and over for me it felt like i didn't have to be forced to farm this one artifact domain when i wanted to build a specific character now i can just farm other stuff and then just strong boxing. This also benefits like the more niche artifacts like Kokomi set. I would never really farm Kokomi set until like I did it once when I got told what artifacts she needed because I was still very new. So I did that domain like once, like with all the resin I had for the day. And that's really it. And now her build, and for a really long time, her build wasn't really the best. Now I can just focus on building someone else and throw away all my useless artifacts into that strong box meaning that i can get my hp artifacts and healing bonus artifacts that i need and then i can just move on instead of farming that extremely inefficient domain what i really like about fontaine also is how the monsters all pretty much drop the same thing so all the mechanical monsters drop the same loot and all the fish related monsters drop the same loot instead of it all being like 
every single fucking monster you fight has a different loot which makes it just horrible to farm because you really don't get any of it but now it seems like pretty much every aquatic creature drops those and every mechanical related creature drops their <laughs> mechanical gears or whatever and as for bad points of 4.0 i really have nothing to say considering that i really found 4.0 to be a really good update for the game and if there are any negatives they are heavily outweighed by the positives which in my opinion is really great the closest thing i can see to a negative being said about fontaine's 4.0 update is that some of the world quests are extremely long but like come on it's free primos at the end of the day so you can't really complain 4.1 brought massive massive changes to the commission system and extremely extremely great ones in my opinion through the system of exploration points. Many people saw this change as one of the best things that has ever happened to Genshin Impact as a whole because now, instead of completing forced quests every single day, you can earn points through collecting chests, oculus, doing events. So you basically get rewarded for actually playing the game instead of doing the four quests, spending your resident and leaving. This system allows more people to be able to do more and have more flexibility with their time instead of People who hop on to do the dailies now won't just be forced to do the quests and then hop off. They can, you know, actually explore and get benefit of it rather than exploring for like the last minute primos that they get for a character. I found myself utilizing this new change so much and so often now. It's to the point where I really barely do the daily commission quests anymore. You can just call me a lazy bastard, but at the end of the day, it's a really good system that works and has brought a new light to the game. And to me, that's 4.1's like big move. But there's also more. 4.1 also brought the characters Nouvellet and Reasley. But we all know that Nouvellet is a busted bastard and he does so much damage. And if you will remember the day one of him being out, you could see TikToks on your For You page, you scrolling through. You'd see people, you know, C6R5 soloing him in the abyss. And he's the first character I actually like 36 starter abyss with so I, I really like him it may just be biased but i in my opinion he's one of the best characters in the whole game with a really cheap investment he did a lot of damage for me and for my teams reasley was our first male catalyst and he does an amazing job in my opinion he's still a really good character i never got the chance to pull for him i didn't really want to pull for him because he didn't seem like a character that i actually wanted but I'm not saying I dislike him, I like Reasley, but not my playstyle, so I'm not really going to comment much on it. Yahoo! Ass punch. 4.1 also brought in the Fontaine Research Institute of Kinetic Energy Engineering region, which, in my opinion, was like one of the coolest regions we've seen in Genshin in a really long time. People may argue that it's just like a bunch of decorated water volumes placed in the sky by the game developers, which is fair, because some of them are empty, but it just is so unique for this game, and in my opinion, it works more than it should so if you're a hater you're just gonna say it's water volumes but in my opinion with the way it's designed i think it is meant to be much more than that with the little puzzles that you can do in between them but i must say traveling all the way up to them sometimes can be a bit of a fucking asshole but that's just me probably overall 4.1 decent update really good with the commissions but that's really the only thing they added that's really worth talking about New Villette's store request was a bit dodgy though, I must say. It wasn't very, very good, but that's really it. Now on to 4.2. There isn't much to talk about 4.2 other than the addition of Farina as a playable character. Farina for me is an absolutely amazing character. Other people probably will agree with me when I say that she is a really, really strong support in the way that she applies Hydro, she can heal and damage boost. It's all amazing and the fact she can switch between the new man and reset energy thing it gives her a unique taste as a character which is what exactly she's meant to be she just feels like a character that is so so much different to other characters in the way that she can fulfill so many roles at the same time and do really good in it obviously you know with constellation she gets extremely extremely stronger but at a base c0 level i think she's still an amazing character at heart obviously 4.2 brought pretty much like the end of the main archon quest in fontaine and in my opinion the fontaine archon quest was a bit wishy-washy at times but at the most it was pretty really it was really good in my opinion it really got good as it got on but there were some stale points in the middle especially in the fortress of meripede that part kind of got dry after a little bit but that's really my opinion everyone can have their own opinion on stuff it ended amazingly and we're still probably going to get our dying slave quest anyway so there's going to be that to talk about speaking in terms of content there really wasn't much else added in the 4.2 update so i'm pretty sure now we will move on to the 4.3 aka the most recent update 
to give my most up-to-date thoughts about everything that's happened so far. Now 4.3 introduced one of the best changes the game has ever seen through the expedition system. In my opinion, the fact that you can now just claim all and restart with one single button makes it 10 times easier and actually makes me do the expeditions. Because with me, the way it works is like I'll do expeditions for like a week straight and then like after a week, I'm like, yeah, no, I'm not doing this all over again. This is just going to take too much of my time. So then I just end up leaving it for a pretty long time and then the cycle repeats and it continues. And it's not really good because you need those materials, obviously, because you're not going to be out there mining every day. Now, Genshin kind of fell off with the efficiency of their artifact sets. The new artifact domain that was brought in this update was kind of bad. The Geo set is really only good for Navia. And then the other set, I don't even know who it's good for, if I'm honest, maybe Farina, but that's about it. And I'm kind of disappointed with that domain because it is extremely inefficient. But maybe in the future it won't be when we get more Geo characters which get crystallized buffs, but that's that's probably not going to happen for a long time. So let's talk about the new characters. We have Navi and Chevreuse. I can't really talk about Chevreuse right now because she's not out as I'm speaking of this now. We can talk a little bit about Navia. Navia was like everywhere in the fucking Fontaine Archon quest. And she's an overall really good character, talking about damage wise. She does damage, she's good. Like, there's not really much else for me to say about her. Raiden is really good though. But we are seeing the rerun. But I must say, she's running alongside Ayaka right now, which she's an extremely strong character. And then we have the next half of the banner, which has Raiden, Shogun, and Yoimiya running with it, which, in my opinion, is two very good characters, especially Raiden. I'm probably going to be going for Constellations. Because I already have her and I want her C2. But well, that's about it for the characters. This update also did bring quite a bit of quality of life improvements to artifacts and the whole domain system. So starting off with the artifacts, you can now automatically lock artifacts if they match a certain criteria that you follow. So, you know, when you're doing artifact domains, you don't have to check every single one. That doesn't really take a lot of time and I think that's very fun. But still, for people who are trying to get some fast progression, who don't have that much time in the day... I think that is still an amazing change. So artifact locking is a big W, but we have kind of been waiting for loadouts since like the start because we were kind of teased in unofficially, I'm pretty sure, but people have been expecting it and we still kind of haven't got it yet, but we are kind of getting closer on that. And on the talk of domains, we have also seen when you press continue challenge on a domain, you don't have to run all the way back up to the red key. It spawns you like right next to the red key which in my opinion is so good. It speeds up farming for artifacts by so much than people actually realize. In my opinion, it's an amazing change and keeps me on the game more instead of me being burnt out because for some reason, it just works. I don't know. This is kind of more for newer players, but the system of recommended artifacts on every character is still really good because if you pull a new character, you don't have to look up on YouTube or on any like website what is the best build for a character it kind of shows you what builds everyone is using instead of just showing you like what substats they're using on their artifacts it actually shows you like what sets most people are using and newer players can kind of use that as like okay i'm gonna do this i'm, I'm gonna use this because when i was new i definitely had no idea what the fuck i was doing with my artifact sets they also made enhancing artifacts and weapons just a lot faster especially artifacts you can now put more in per like leveling up and now there's a button to ascend it to next tier which just really really improves the speed and efficiency of it in my opinion now let's do like a quick conclusion of everything before we end this video in my opinion fontaine really really brought a lot to the game itself and it made a lot of positive changes for the game in terms of efficiency and how much faster everything is and you can get everything done way more efficiently the strong box artifacts are in a massive improvement in my opinion. The characters having a HP kind of playstyle, which is pretty much exclusive to the region, is also a really nice choice in my opinion. It gives Fontaine its own like vibe to it. Like it it makes Fontaine pretty much a, a way, way, way more memorable region. Overall, it makes sense because it's the most recent update, but I think Fontaine is like one of the biggest changes we've had in the whole game considering all the new mechanics quality of life improvements and just everything that's been bundled together to be amazing i think the positives outweigh the negatives extremely 
And I really want to say that I am very happy with Fontaine. I have really no issue with it right now. I was thinking about the top of my head. That's about it. So thanks for listening to me, Yap. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and follow my Twitch in the description.